The views and opinions expressed on this program are those of the participants and do not reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. BronxNet. Your voice, your views, your vision. And good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Open, this one and only show that opens up the Bronx and the world to you. I'm your host, the Dr. Bob Lee from 107.5 WBLS. You can catch me on each and every night right after the quiet storm with my man Lenny Green. Tell him I, I gave him a shout out, okay? We have a great show lined up for you today, right here on Open's Channel 67. Coming up today, well, we'll update you on all the latest news and events in our community and around the world. After that, our resident nutrition consultant, she sits down with us to talk and share more about probiotics. You're going to want to know all about that, okay? And their relationship to your health. It's important. Plus, we'll find out all the latest in the world of fantasy sports. Ha ha! We got Mike coming up without the other Mike. And as fall approaches, we'll begin the new season with a cardio kickboxing workout. We'll throw some kicks high in the air and wave your foot like you just don't care. And later on, a Bronx chef will share his creative secrets with you. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. All this and more is headed your way because we are now open for business. Hello everybody, I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee, and today is Monday, September 9th, 2013. Of course, you're watching Open, and you're live. We're live, too. You can get a, get a little more interactive with us if you like. Uh, we got that program that brings you to Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. Now, we want to encourage you to stay uh, connected to us, and you can find us on Twitter at BronxNet TV and Facebook at Open BronxNet Television. So now let's take a look at our weekend wrap-up. Leading things off with international news, Congress believes that there's an overwhelming disapproval amongst American people for a Syrian strike. Now, there's a consensus amongst many that the president, the president has not significantly or sufficiently explained to the American people what our national security interest is in any level of engagement in Syria. Now, he has an opportunity to do that tomorrow night when he addresses the American people. And it was a weekend filled with uh, health and education awareness in the Bronx. As Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. held his annual back to school fair. And uh, the Bronx Borough President uh, spoke to our youth about the importance of getting a good education, getting good grades, and staying in school and being on time. He gave tips on healthy eating, healthy eating habits, and that will lead to physical and mental success. And in New York City, with primary elections taking place tomorrow, Candidates for city council, mayor, borough president, public advocate, and controller. They were out in large numbers this weekend, making one last appeal to get residents of the city out to the polls. Make sure you get out there to vote. John Liu, who's on the show, he uh, gave me a call the other day and said, hey, you know, tell the people that I'm there for them. I can do everything that they want. So, but the important thing is to get out there and vote. And there you have it. That's our weekend wrap up. I'm Bob Lee. And uh, Vince, how important is uh, that vote? It's, you know, a lot of people say, you know, my vote doesn't count. You know, why should I get out there and vote? How important do you think that is? Well, I'd like to say the, the vote is extremely important. You know, everybody feels like, like you said, their vote doesn't count. But mm -hmm. truthfully, you know, the power is in the numbers. Yeah. What did you do this weekend? What did I do this weekend? Uh, I, I worked. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. Actually, I, uh, I, uh, I won a game show, a hip-hop game show. 
a new game show called Rap Wars. Oh, yeah. okay. And uh, their website launches in November, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. I won yeah. 4,000 fake dollars. Whoa! Yeah. But, uh, you know, I thought you were going to talk about that new show that they have on NBC. Which is? Yeah, they, they have it down in the city, in the Midtown area. Oh, is that uh, the Million, million Second Seconds? Place? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hosted you, by... You sit in a uh, hot seat and you win uh, $10,000 a second or something like mm -hmm. that. They, yeah. they, they couldn't ask me to host it because I would have <laughs> charged too much. <laughs> All right, so make sure you get out there to vote. Of it's course, important. tomorrow, you know, bright and early, everybody. You're voting for a controller, for mayor, mayor city council. Uh, city council, uh, and public, public advocate. advocate. Yes. There you go. Okay. All Thanks those. a lot, Vince. You're going to hit us up on the ones and twos? Of course. All the there time. you go. <laughs> Let me hear you scratch. Oh, I, I don't, I'm not scratching. <laughs> <laughs> and time. there you have it. Thanks, Vince. <laughs> DJ Vince on the ones and twos. And as I've mentioned, uh, the primary elections are tomorrow. And it's important to get out there and vote. Okay? It doesn't matter who you vote for, but make sure you step out there. God gave you two feet, put one foot in front of the other, and step to what you need to do. All right, thanks, Vince. We're going to take a quick break right here. And no matter who you support, do your thing. Get out to the polls. All right, we'll take a break, and we'll come back with a whole lot more next. Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. You wouldn't let money just blow out of your house. So when your AC or heater is on, make sure the doors, windows, and fireplace flue are shut tight. If you're headed out, turn down the AC or lower the heat by 10 degrees. And always keep your water heater set at 120. A little bit of common sense goes a long way. Get more great tips at energysaver.gov. Hello and welcome back. I'm your host, the Dr. Bob Lee. Clickety, 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 clack. We bring you there. We bring you back. Welcome to Open. Our first guest is a registered dietitian and our Open Nutrition Consultant. She's here to join us to inform us about probiotics. Want to know what it is? Some of you do, some of you don't. And uh, she's going to be talking about their relationship to our health and our intestinal health, basically, right? That's right, yes. That's Still where all the magic happens. In the house. That's right, thank you so much. Thank you, it's always a pleasure to see you. That you always come with a, uh, a great wealth of information. Thank you. Probiotics, Yes. What are probiotics? So basically, probiotics are live microorganisms mm -hmm. that are very similar to those that already exist in your gut. Wait, put the brakes on. I'm putting some live stuff into my system? That's right, they're alive. Is it well, good? Is it there to help fight against something else? Yes, it's actually, it's very good for your health. So, and yeah. you want, what you want is you want to create a very stable environment in your gut so that there's a balance of the good and the bad bacteria. Mm -hmm. Now these probiotics are very similar to what you already have in your gut. There's millions and millions of strains of, of gut bacteria in your small intestine. Yeah. Because, gut bacteria. <laughs> yes. I'm use that with the good and the bad. And with so much of use of antibiotics in our culture nowadays, and you know, antibiotics will definitely destroy and damage and eliminate a lot of the good bacteria in your gut. Mm -hmm. With the increased use of it in our culture, we definitely need to incorporate more and yeah. more probiotics in order to counter the effects of the antibiotics. And, and I suppose, especially if you go and you get uh, frequent colonics or you clean yourself out a lot, you have to put some more stuff back in there to help, you know, fight right. that other bacteria. That's true. And I do, I mean, I am not a person who recommends colonics because I really don't think that they're necessary, as mm -hmm. I've spoken about it on the show before, that I think that they're natural ways in which you can have the same effect. Yeah. Um, and you don't necessarily have to go through that. And you're right, when you do go through something like that, it does kind of mix everything up and kind of puts everything Throws out of harmony. Mm -hmm. um, so, and they've done lots of studies on this. So what do probiotics actually do for your health? First and foremost, it increases your immune system, right? Because what it does is it creates this barrier against other, either mm -hmm. foodborne illnesses or other pathogens that could potentially get through your bloodstream because what is sometimes uncommonly known is that most of the vitamin and nutrient extraction from food doesn't come from the stomach. It's actually extracted in the small intestine. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very important to have these microbiotics, um, it, 
pretty much aligned there yeah. so that when you're taking in food and you're eating healthy food so that the vitamins can be extracted then and absorbed in your body. Yeah. So if this probiotic is not there or the microorganisms are out of balance, you can eat healthy food and still not extract the vitamins. Yeah, and there are different types of probiotics too, aphidophilus mm -hmm. and uh, uh, a buddy of mine, Eddie G, he, he gave me a, a sample of a product, uh, a line, mm -hmm. a line, and it, uh, it has its own special category of probiotics that uh, I think they have a patent on, and uh, people use that and they love it, you know, it puts everything back in line with a yeah. line. Right, right. Not and a commercial, but you know. <laughs> right, right, of course. And and I think that mostly I would recommend to my clients, I would recommend mm. probiotics that occur naturally in real food as well, uh -huh. which is definitely more bioabsorbable. For example, some foods that have probiotics in it, of course, as we commonly know, is yogurt, mm -hmm. right? But there are also other foods that also can act as a probiotic in your gut, like for example, sauerkraut, kimchi, basically a lot of the fermented foods. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites is a product called kefir. And so it's been used for centuries. You know, it's, in a, it's a fermented yogurt beverage, mm -hmm. uh, very similar to wow. yogurt, except the consistency is slightly thinner. Yeah. And it has a lot more um, strains of bacteria in it as well. So is there a stronger strain of bacteria? It's, a, I, don't, I wouldn't say necessarily stronger, there are just many more. Then, whereas yogurt may have one or two strains of bacteria, kefir generally has about 10 or so. Yeah. How, how do you know how much to take, though? Well, in a Can food... Can you overdose of, on probiotics? Well, that's actually an interesting question, and that is always a question that you have to ask when you're taking something in a supplement form. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know exactly how much is in it, or and usually they overdo everything, right? And vitamins, too, yeah. as well. You see that the dosages are rather high in supplements. Yeah. So the best way to do so, you don't ever have to worry about that, is to do it from a, natural, a more natural product. So if you're having yogurt, you know, there is no limit to how much yogurt you can have in a day. Yeah. Um, if you're having kefir, there is no limit to how much kefir you're having in a day. And, and the beauty of those two products as well is that not only are you getting the probiotic activity, but you're also getting mm -hmm. vitamin D and calcium and protein as well that are in this product. So it's a lot of nutrition for one product. As you get older, do you lose some of those things that the body naturally makes as far as, is probiotics made in the body or you have well, to that's, use it as a supplement. That's actually a really interesting question. It's we have gut bacteria in our that is already mm. present. The but natural what, bacteria in, that fights off yes whatever is happening in there that wants to go against the right. natural nat, a natural harmony in your body. Exactly, yeah. and so and there are these things that will disrupt that right mm. illness, stress, antibiotics, and so on. Absolutely. So to realign it, <laughs> you know, we would have to add probiotics and also foods that. There are foods also that act as prebiotics as well, yeah. meaning that they are, they are not live cultures, but when eaten, they allow the proliferation of microorganisms in your gut. For example, oh, yeah. these prebiotics are usually in the form of whole grains, fibers, right? So they act as prebiotics, you digest them. Once the, they are in your small intestine and they begin to ferment, mm -hmm. they create a great environment for these probiotics and live microorganisms to grow. Mm -hmm. So there's the prebiotic foods that you want to be concerned with that you want to make sure that you take in, which are high fibrous foods and whole grains and brands and mm -hmm. so on, vegetables and fruits and so wow, on. Wow, stay and close then, to home. <laughs> yes, 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 right, of, yes, definitely so, definitely so. And then, of course, the um, classical probiotic. Yeah, yeah. Now, why do we need probiotics again? Well, first is the immune system. They boost your immune system. They uh -huh. allow you to extract the nutrients from your food as well. Mm -hmm. And the latest thing that they've been doing some work on as well is that they're finding that there are very, very similar neurons in the gut that we have in our brain. Wow. So, they're doing a lot of stuff mm -hmm. on uh, keeping the gut bacteria healthy and the GI tract healthy and how that relates to our mental health. Mm -hmm. So that actually is shown to lower incidences of depression and increases of mood. Yeah. And so there's a lot of that going on in terms of studies as well. So that's really interesting area to go into. It's beautiful. So you should um, align the probiotics with the other things in your life. Mm -hmm. Like, of course, uh, healthy eating, healthy living, good sleep, 
Oh, of rest. course, yes, yes, absolutely. So they all kind of go in unison, right? So you want to make sure that your entire life is balanced and that you're getting a healthy, healthy sleep, you're, you're drinking properly, you're hydrating properly, you're getting the nutrients and vitamins that you need, you're not taking in too much, you're, you're, and you're making sure that you're adding activity to your day as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. So, of course, you got to eat all those grains and stuff that you spoke about, too. Yes, and I think that mostly the most interesting stuff that's coming out is the, the mood influences. I think that that is really important. We're doing more and more studies about this um, and trying to find what exactly is happening with it. Because, you know, it, it, the feelings that you have in your gut as well are right. very important to feel mental. Mm -hmm. You know what, let's take a quick break and we'll come back and talk more about the sure. probiotics and uh, it, what it does to you and, and why it's needed too. We'll take a break, we'll come back with more Max. You wouldn't let money just blow out of your house. So when your AC or heater is on, make sure the doors, windows, and fireplace flue are shut tight. If you're headed out, turn down the AC or lower the heat by 10 degrees. And always keep your water heater set at 120. A little bit of common sense goes a long way. Get more great tips at energysaver.gov. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything, it is I, Cruz, Zinc or Bell. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. All right, so all this stuff that you're talking about, of course, goes along with helping the person become healthy and lead a healthy life. And they can teach other, they can teach the kids. Now, how do you get the, the, the children involved in a uh, and taking probiotics, or well, they don't need it at this point. No, I think that everyone um, needs a probiotics to a certain extent, you know. And I think that sometimes what happens is is that they start to. Um, children have a lot of issues sometimes with irregularity as well as do mm. adults. And so probiotics in that regard also we didn't speak about is that it actually does keep you regular, right? Yeah. As opposed to, you know, fiber, which also keeps you regular, but it's a different product. So that also is shown to, like for children who get sick sometimes and, you know, in hospitals, for example, they, uh, when they have diarrhea or something to that effect, mm. they will give probiotics to children to help them with that. So mm. I think that in terms of Supplements, I don't think that that would be something that would be necessarily appropriate for children. Yeah. But I think definitely incorporating that in their daily routine in terms of yogurt and kefir would be wonderful because, of course, the other component that these products have is calcium, and children definitely need that yeah. to grow. Well, you mentioned something about probiotics helping out with mental health. Yes. Yes, and, that, and again, that is, is really important. A lot of information is coming out around that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of influence on, I mean, look, when you are nervous and when you're stressed out, where is the first place you feel it? You know, you feel it in your gut. You get stomach upset. A lot of IBS-related mm -hmm. symptoms are very directly IBS. Um, irritable bowel syndrome mm -hmm. um, is very related to the way that you feel mentally. Stress yeah. is you, the butterflies in your stomach, the, you know, S t stomach troubles, things that come yeah. from feeling stressed out, you know, so there's definitely a link with the gut and the brain. Yeah, and if you're constipated, you're not going to have a happy look on your face. You're not going to have a very happy look. It's terrible, actually. It, it is terrible, and it, you know, it speaks to it speaks to your metabolism. It speaks to what you're taking in. It speaks to your activity level. Mm -hmm. So, and and it's just very, very, very uncomfortable. Yeah. So, as long as you continue to add all these components into your diet, you don't have to go to extremes for colonics and so mm -hmm. forth. So, if you're talking to a person and they don't look too happy, you can suspect that could be that it. <laughs> there could be something going on. So what do you give them? So probiotics. Yeah, take a spoonful of this. And plenty of water. Yes. Plenty of water. Ah, water is very, very important. Yes. Now, if you add all those things, the fiber, uh, the grains, and the probiotics, and lots of water, <laughs> I don't, I don't think you home. have a problem with if we constipation no. after Well, that. that's why. I mean, and that's why I think that a lot of the cleanses and the colonics and so forth are so are unneeded. Needed. Really, yes. they're not. All you right. know, the, ba the body has its natural mechanism by which to cleanse itself, so it's not really needed. High you five. just got to give him the right stuff. There you go. High five. Ah, great. Great. Lots of great information. Anything we missed? 
No, I think that's it for now. Where can we find you for more? Fitwithfiorella.com and follow me on Twitter. There you go. Give her a big round of applause, everybody. Fitwithfiorella. Thank you. <laughs> .com and find her on Twitter, too. Fiorella DeCala, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. We got to take a quick break, but uh, when we come back, we'll get the latest in fantasy sports. You don't want to miss it. Stay right there. I love being in classrooms like this one and learning new things. But I'm a Brooklyn girl, and I know school can be hard. It's demanding. And we kids have many distractions, lots of other things we could be doing. Sometimes even your friends may tell you that school isn't cool, that it isn't the place to be. Don't listen to them. There's nothing more important than education. It's the key to everything else. It helps us understand our world and be better people, better friends, and better citizens. So stay in school. And don't let anyone tell you that you're not good enough or smart enough. Be a star. Shine brighter than anyone else and you'll make the grade. This has been a public service announcement of the Make the Grade Foundation. Go to makethegrade.org to learn more. Barry, time is running out. According to my calculations, one in five kids in America struggles with hunger. How can so many children face hunger when there's more than enough food to feed them all? You're right, Barry. We can help solve hunger by teaming up with Feeding America to get food to hungry kids in communities across the country. Help Flint and the Feeding America Network of Food Banks get food to the people who need it in your community. Find your local Feeding America food bank at feedingamerica.org slash hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Long before I was in Hollywood, I had a grandmother by the name of Estelle Marie Tanner, positive role models to make sure that I was on a straight path. Big Brothers Big Sisters carefully screens volunteers and places them in long-term mentoring matches with kids who face adversity. With more volunteers, especially men, and more donations, every little who needs a big can have it. Start something. If it's been a while since you've been involved, start something again. Learn more at BigBrothersBigSisters.org. All right, I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee. Welcome back to Open, everybody. We have a young man that used to come here all the time. He was on the show. He got his start right here at BronxNet and uh, is now working as a sports journalist all around the New York area. And he joins us today to share his story, as well as the latest in the world of fantasy sports. We welcome Mike Crocker. We're the young man on WBLS named Mr. Crocker. Well, Bob, long Frankie time no see. Frankie Crocker, yeah. Frank. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It's, it's great to be back. I haven't been here in a while. It's kind of a, kind of a reunion of sorts. Yeah, all right. Well, welcome back. You, you got a lot of stuff. For, now, tell us how you, you, you got started. You made a transition. Um, you, you went to New Paul's. Yes. Yeah. Um, went to went to New Paltz. Just actually graduated in May. Hey, congratulations! And, uh, yeah, college graduate. Congratulations! Uh, <laughs> congratulations! That's a new word that I just uh, I didn't put it in a dictionary. I like it. Coin it though. You got to get it. Yeah. Got to get trademark though. Yeah, there you go. Um, but anyway, yeah, just graduated from New Paltz. Uh, but when I first came here, uh, literally the week after I graduated high school, uh -huh. uh, you know, came here really out of passion for film, but uh, never really had the TV kind of side of it so I wanted to get a broader spectrum mm -hmm. uh, you know even right on the Bronx Net website it says you know come here learn gain experience pretty much the thing I wanted to do right, right. Uh, came here and uh, you know I figured it was something I could do right before I went to college turns out two and a half years later you know it was a uh, was a great experience for me yeah and you, you can see a lot of the, the interns and, uh, and college students that are working our cameras along with the professionals here this is a, a wonderful working environment so now you work for uh, News 12 Westchester. Ho! Oh, yes. There you go. Give them a big round of applause, everybody. Here we go. Yeah. Ice cream, popcorn, cotton candy here. Um, of course, that's one of the Yankee games. Um, so you're talking fantasy football now? Yes. You know, you know, fantasy sports is always something I've uh, been involved with since, uh, you know, even though I was a teenager and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's something that I was able to do on the show in the past. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's something that, you know, I'm, I'm very thankful that I can come back and do today again too yeah but uh, yeah fantasy sports is it's just something that I really I really like to do and yeah. uh, you know for me it really isn't work All right, for the person that doesn't know anything about fantasy sports or fantasy they just in the fantasy world or you know explain something a little something about fantasy sports okay um, well I mean obviously you know you you put on the the Sunday game you put on Fox you watch the Giants the Jets you know it's a right. good game out there but a lot of people don't know that, you know, there's another game going on yeah. in the same game that you're watching yourself. Mm -hmm. um, typically what it is is, 
if you were the GM of your own NFL team, had to pick up players, draft players, make game time decisions about who to start, who to bench, it's pretty much uh, what every NFL fan's dream is to run your own football team. Mm -hmm. Like active imagination. Active imagination, except uh, you know you can get as close to the real thing as possible. But uh, you know it's just it's it's a really fun game. Uh -huh. Now, do you do it on a computer? How do, how do you do that? How do you work that? Well, actually, you know it's been around since the '80s, and it's it's not just not just football. Uh -huh. You got baseball, uh, basketball, even all the way to fantasy bass fishing. Yeah. I've heard of. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the uh -huh. thing is. Uh, you know, how it works is just, you know, it's a, it's a point system. Everything is different, but mm -hmm. like I was saying before, it used to be one of those things where you check the newspapers, you write down, you calculate the stats yourself. Now you just go on to ESPN, Yahoo. It's all done for you right there. What got you involved? Uh, you know, I was, I was a fan. Uh, you know, in uh, my childhood, started off watching a lot of baseball. Then I really got into football, and it was one of those things where I've always heard about it, but I never really got into it. And then mm -hmm. I just tried it out and gone through yeah. with it ever since. Do you call any of the sports stations and say, hey, you weigh in on certain situations? Well, that's the thing. Everyone's trying to get that insider knowledge. Everyone's trying to get the edge up of who's going to do better than who and who's going to give me the most points for my fantasy team. Uh -huh. uh, they have radio shows. They have online message forums. And they have experts that, you know, re right even on Twitter, right mm -hmm. even on your iPhone, you could ask these experts that it's their job. They get paid mm -hmm. to answer your fantasy football questions. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So you're going to give us an example of that in a little while? Absolutely, talk yeah. About it? Yep. yeah. All right, um, we'll take a break right here. We'll take a short break, but then when we come back, we'll return with Mike, and he'll take it away with the fantasy sports. Stay right there. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. This was me. And mom and dad. And my big brother Alex. And Jack. This was the day that I learned that sandals get their name from sand, and that the ocean is bigger than all of us. This was the day we all got to forget that I was sick. This was my wish. Live with a human for a while, and you get to know a few things. Like, I know she does strange tricks for no treats. But the one thing I will never for the life of me know is how she gets so tiny and inside that box. Natalie, how do you get so tiny? I already knew that I was going to go to college, you know, from a young age. I definitely want to major in political science. After that, I'm going to get my law degree. Then I'm going to come back to Detroit, boost the economy, become the mayor or something try to make the situation better for other people. I feel like I owe it to the city. I'm determined, it's, it, it's gonna happen. My name is Justin, and I am your dividend. And welcome back everyone to a segment I like to call the Fantasy Sports Corner. I'm Mike Crocker, and today with the NFL season in full swing, we're going to be talking about what else? Fantasy football. Well, fantasy football has developed a following over 33.5 million fantasy owners today, and nowadays everyone seems to have a team. And over the course of the football season, team owners will be challenged with lineup decisions that can make or break a fantasy team. But fortunately, that's why I'm here today on the set of Open to try and guide you in the right direction to not only build a good team, but hey, maybe even a fantasy football championship. Before we get started, I'll remind you that even though the fantasy season and even the NFL season kicked off yesterday, you can already still go online and start playing today absolutely for free. Great websites like ESPN, Yahoo, and even NFL.com will give you everything you need, so if you haven't signed up yet, get drafting. Kicking things off, here's a list of my top 12 fantasy players this season. Now I know what you might be thinking about this list. Why are there so many running backs? Well, in fantasy football, it's almost next to impossible to find one of these backs who gets all the playing time. So make sure you grab one of these guys on this list 
in the first round of your draft. Now, I wouldn't be much of an expert by telling you that the number one guy on that list, Adrian Peterson, is gonna have a good year. But if there's one guy on this list I'm gonna like and recommend to you guys, it's going to be Marshawn Lynch. I'm drinking the Kool-Aid myself on this one, and there's no reason in 2013 he can't improve in last year's numbers. I expect him to go over 1,400 yards easily with double-digit touchdowns. And if that's not enough, go over to YouTube, type in Marshawn Lynch to see what I mean when I really say this guy is truly a beast. And as you get deeper in your drafts and later on into your season, it's always good to be an owner who's always looking ahead, trying to find what I call sleepers, which are players who might be under the radar today, but might be the fantasy stars of tomorrow. Here's a list of guys that I created in almost every position that are currently undervalued, but could finish this year as a top tier player. These guys should be someone you target later on in drafts and secretly hope that no one else picks up. And if all goes well, well, it could mean some serious bragging rights come playoff time. Players from this list I'm really excited about are guys like Reggie Bush and Ryan Matthews, two underperforming running backs in the past who might actually put up the stats they were expected to put up years ago. Reggie Bush has a change of scenery now with the Detroit Lions, as you see there, who plan to use his pass-catching skills. And the other guy, Ryan Matthews, well, he's finally healthy and on the field for once, so I expect him to live up to his expectations. Well, let's pull a 180 here and talk fantasy football busts. Players who get all this hype and might not even live up to the expectations set out by others. The first guy on my list, as you see here, is one of my favorite quarterbacks in the game, Seattle quarterback Russell Wilson. The playoff hero from last year looks great on paper, However, the major element of his game which won't land him on any of my fantasy teams this year is when Seattle gets in the red zone right about to score a touchdown, they're going to give it to Marshawn Lynch. Sure, Wilson's a good quarterback, but I just don't see him living up to the hype he garnered from last year's playoffs. Also on this list, a pair of running backs from last night's Sunday night football game for your Cowboys and the Giants. You know, I'm not really a fan of DeMarco Murray, the Cowboys running back, or even first-time Giants starter David Wilson. Wilson had a really nice touchdown run during the preseason, but last year in his rookie year, gets in there, first NFL carry, ready to go. What does he do? He fumbles it. And then last night, one year later, almost to the date, he goes out last night on national television and does it again. He's currently in head coach Tom Coughlin's doghouse, and I don't think he's any more than a flex option this season. Moving on, the Giants may have lost last night to the Cowboys, but let's go ahead and try to put a fantasy spin on things and break down what I liked about the G-Men's performance last night in Dallas. If any of you Giant fans out there are actually fantasy football owners, you might want to look for wide receiver Reuben Randall and even tight end Brandon Myers. Randall went over 100 yards receiving last night and Brandon Myers, your new tight end, caught a touchdown pass from Eli, as well as 66 yards receiving. The Giants host Eli, Eli's brother Peyton Manning in the Broncos. Peyton, fresh off a seven touchdown performance against the defending Super Bowl champion Baltimore Ravens. And if the Giants throw as, they much, uh, throw as much as they did uh, last night, we might just see some more production from Randall and Myers. The Jets kicked off things down in Tampa against the Bucks, and the only thing I can really say about this one, it wasn't pretty. Sloppiness plagued the first half as Jets quarterback Geno Smith looked like a typical rookie. He would pick up his game, however, though, connecting on a touchdown pass to new tight end uh, veteran Kellen Winslow. And I guess we'll just have to wait and see how the Jets respond practicing on a short week when they travel to New England Thursday night to take on Tom Brady and the division rival Patriots. All right, we're going to wrap things up here finally. We have a double header tonight on Monday Night Football with the Philadelphia Eagles taking on RG3, fresh off knee surgery, and the Washington Redskins. Then, later on, Arian Foster and the Houston Texans will clash with the San Diego Chargers. And that's going to do it for Monday Night Football. And that's going to do it right here for me on Open and conclude this week's Fantasy Sports Corner. You got any questions, you can head over to Facebook, ask me there, or heck, even go over to Twitter and ask me anything about who to pick up, bench, or even anybody off the waiver wire. Oh, who to tackle. Ah! <laughs>
Oh, you guys missed that one. Ah, you saw I tackled him. He just got up. Bob came in low. <laughs> Mike Crocker, give him a big round of applause, everybody. I like Reggie Bush. I do like yeah. him too. And, and back in when he was playing in USC, it was crazy. It was a human highlight reel. But yeah. honestly, I think it's just you know right place, right time, and. Uh, he did great yesterday too. Uh -huh, yeah. Really good numbers. Now who's the young man that's fumbling on the on the on the Giants? David Wilson. No, Eli Manning, he got up there and said, you know, you gotta give him the ball more so he can break out of it and build up his confidence and everything. You agree? I agree with that too, but I also don't agree with Eli throwing fifty times in a game. I mean, it's just a matter of time yeah. before Eli might even get hurt. Yeah, all right. So thanks for coming. Uh -huh. Mike Crocker in the house, okay? We're gonna take a quick break right here, but we're gonna return the workout. You don't want to miss. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ruben Diaz Jr. I'm not just the Bronx Borough President, but I'm a father and an uncle. I can't emphasize enough how important it is for men and fathers to be a part of their children's lives. Let me talk to you about a program that's come out of my office, the Bronx Fathers Three. Taking Action Committee which is a committee of Bronx fathers and men formed to help uplift the institution of fatherhood while responsibly respecting the privilege of being a dad. Our mission statement is to engage, empower, educate, and encourage fathers, Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, of all ten. ages by providing them with the resources and help that they need in order to build new relationships with the leaders in our community. Ultimately, this initiative will help reinforce Bronx men as positive role models. So, I just want to take the time out to encourage fathers, grandfathers, uncles, men of all corners of the Bronx to take an important role in the lives of the children in your family and in our community, and also to get involved in this uplifting committee. Good job, Theo. Thank Let's you. Let's start it again, Theo. All right. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I, Cruz, Zinc or Bell. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. I grew up in the housing projects of Cleveland. I didn't even know that life could be any better than it was. Education for me has been a way to get away from the agony of what was normal life. I want to be able to impact the community, not just look back on where I came from, but to reach back to where I came from and pull some people up with me. My name is David, and I am your dividend. Our next guest is a certified trainer, Tracy Knott, and he joins us today to share more about the importance of uh, starting your fall workout with a, a workout demonstration and cardio kickboxing. Yeah. Did you see that? And here he is, Tracy Knott, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a big round of applause. Hey! Well, oh, he's starting already. Okay. I want him. Okay, here we go. Just follow me, everybody. We're going to start off with running in place. Let's get it. Go run. Ha! Run. 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 Run hard. Bring them up. Ha! Run. Ha! Run. Ha! Run. Ha! Run. Ha! Run. Ha! Run. Get low. Let's punch. Ha! Punch. Ha! Punch. Ha! Punch. Ha! Punch. Ha! Punch! Ha! Punch! Ha! Soft uppercut! Go! Here! Ha! Throw! Ha! Throw! Ha! Throw! Ha! Throw! Ha! Throw! Ha! Throw! Ha! Bring it up! Go! Here! Ha! Hard! Ha! Noise! Ha! Work! Ha! Work! Ha! Work! Ha! Work! Ha! Double up! Go! One! Two! One! Two! One! Two! One! Two! One, two, one, two, one, two, one, run that, uh, uh, hey, run, hey, run, hey, run, hey, run, hey, run, 
hey, run, hey, run hard, go, uh, uh, hey, run, hey, run, hey, run, hey, run, hey, run, hey, run, hey, front kick, go kick, ha, 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 other leg, go kick, ha, kick, ha, kick, ha, kick. Soft uppercut, go here. Ha, low, ha, low, ha, low, ha, low, ha, low, ha, low, ha. Bring it up, go here. Ha, work, ha, work, ha, work, ha, work, ha, work, ha, work, ha. Double up, go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one, run that. Uh, uh, hey, run, hey, run, hey, run, hey, run, hey, run, hey, run, hey, run hard, go. Uh, uh, hey, run, ha, run, ha, run, ha, run, ha, run, ha, run, ha, side kick, go kick, ha, kick, ha, kick, ha, kick. Other leg, go kick, ha, 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 clap it up. Yo, what's up, baby? Good job. Good job, man. Oh. All right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nice one. Yeah, I saw you on the side. Nice one, nice I saw one. you on the side. I don't want to make a fool of myself, so I did most never, of my workout on never, that never, side never, over never, there. Never, 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 never. You know, but as long as you're moving, you're moving, you know. That's right. Your form may not be exactly what they were doing. They were, poof, 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 poof. And they threw their hands high in the air and clapped it off like that. Now, you're in the park all the time. Yes, 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 yes. I'm at Van Cortland Park every weekend. Uh -huh. Uh, six in the morning. It's uh -huh. about seven thirty. There you go. Who's working with you today? It's part of the show. Shamal. He just Shamal's in the house. Give him a big round of applause, everybody. That's that show. To the beat, too. I got my my childhood uh, partner right here. Uh, he's right. a bus operator. He's been working with me for a while, uh -huh. and um, he's gonna bring a little life situation in. Yesterday, I got into a car accident, oh my and God. Um, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. But it was all my <clears> fault. <throat> so in life, as you know, <clears> you make adjustments <throat> and just keep going. That's the same thing I feel with in health and fitness. People know when they're doing the wrong thing. You know when you have a bad diet. You know when you're not working out. Or you're gonna be that right. type to just lay back and accept it. Or you're gonna yeah. make change. For example, my partner right here, like I said, bus operator, he's sitting down most of the time. Yeah. Knows for a fact that he's not getting enough cardio. Yeah. What he did was said, look, I'm not gonna be like the so-called bus operators yeah. with the boom, boom. He said, I'm gonna come rock with you, partner. So let's get it going. Yes. And Plus, if somebody gets on a bus and they're acting up, you I know, knew you it. Can, <laughs> you can take a stand. <laughs> you know that happens a lot, right? <laughs> I was down with the union, local 100. Local? Yes, exactly. Yeah, and they were talking about that as a problem. You know, you, That's right. people get on a bus and act up with the bus drivers, you know. Exactly. And one thing leads to the next, and you got some people just take it. That's take right. It on the chin. <laughs> but you can stand up and do something, you be a little physical. And Not to condone violence or anything like that. But you gotta you protect can, yourself. Hey, you can hold them down and call 911. Someone please call 911. <laughs> so, you have something coming up in, uh, well, you're doing it all the time. Yeah, right? I do it all the time. Why but September? So well, special? yeah, I, this is my favorite time. I mean, I like to get new clients at this time mm -hmm. to explain to them how important it is to start in September. September, number one, you get a jump start on these so-called eating holidays oh, and yeah. drinking holidays. Oh, man. Too, as you know, too many people... Thanksgiving, the big turkey and the right. stuffing and all that stuff. Yeah, you're going to do it regardless. You're going uh, to go to your families and eat and drink and things like sometimes that. Sometimes two, three, and four different places. That's right. right. Bus driver knows. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then what happened was people usually... What don't, do wait, is, don't get it. Don't get it. Don't get it flipped. Now, he eats a lot, too. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the whole point is, what is that? People, after that time, they start in January with their yeah. New Year's resolutions and then... 
that lasts about a week. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what you should do is start now. Your body takes time to get adjusted to what you're yeah. doing. Too many people get discouraged when they start in January, they find out how hard it is, and they just quit. Then they, before you know it, they start it again. And uh, when it summer comes around, much. yeah, then right, you're not, I mean, right come on now, this stuff doesn't happen overnight. So this is the best time to start. And you and I know I always key yeah. diet and cardio. Everything else follows. That's yeah. the whole point. Give your body time and to get adjusted to what you're doing. There you go. Okay, where can we where can we reach you to get more information? Oh, or, please, or you can go to my website. Please go to my website, notplayingfitness.com. You can go to Facebook and check Jimmy Tracy Not. You can also check my business page on Facebook, which is Not Playing Fitness. I also run a cardio ab routine class every what well, Monday through Thursday at 6:15 <clears> up <throat> in my place in White Plains, New York, 196 Maple Avenue. Man. It's all you could just go to my go to my email address too. I'm sorry, not playing fitness at yahoo.com. All you do is just come to me and I got you. I will take care of you. You will get in the best shape ever. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Give them a call at 646. I'm only kidding about that. <laughs> What's your Jimmy Tracy Knot? The Jimmy Tracy Knot at that's, that's for Facebook. And uh -huh. you can go on to my email address, which is not playing fitness at yahoo.com. Yeah, go, go on to my website, not playing fitness.com. And it'll okay? get you straight. Jimmy Tracy Knot, give him a big round of applause, everybody. Yes, indeed. We're going to take a quick break right here, but when we return, we'll get a creative cooking demonstration. Don't want to miss it. We'll feed you, too. Come it up. Hello, I'm Dante Lemon from Open 2.0 and Bronx Net, the show by teens, for teens, and about teens. Catch us every Friday at 4.30 and anytime on the web by going to www.bronxnet.org. If you want hot topics, current news, fashion advice, and humor included, then Open 2.0 is the show for you. We've got it all. So tune in every Friday at 4.30 p.m. Since I got adopted, I've learned a lot about these humans. Uh, I know. I mean, check out these two. It's Flirt City over here. Yeah, I noticed that. It looks like my human is definitely into your human. Oh, look! I think she's getting his number. Nice. Your human's got some sweet moves. Takes after his dog. <laughs> oh, look, they're doing that thing where they put their arms around each other. She kicked up a leg. It's like in the movies. That's awesome. Looks like we're going to be hanging out a little bit more. And we are cooking up a storm. Ha ha. You can taste this. <laughs> You're going to love it. No, I don't eat out of the bowl that we cook with. We're going to use another bowl. All right, Chef Joe is in the house. Alejandrino. 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 All right, he's a, a Bronx resident who has been cooking since the age of seven and currently works at the Taras Bulba. Taras Bulba. The Bulba. Yeah, Taras Bulba. Oh, the Bulba makes you. Satisfied and sleep. <laughs> Bulba. <laughs> that beautiful restaurant over there. He puts a unique touch on a variety of American and Spanish recipes. And he joins us today to share some of these recipes with us. So we welcome to Thank Chef you Joe. so much. We welcome you to the show. Thank you. All right. Um, so you can smell this. Oh, it smells so good. Mwah! 
Yeah, well, today I decided to do um, some stuffed pasta that we normally do in Tarabuzba, which is, um, they call it vaniriki uh -huh. or pinini. But, um, I, like I said, the last pinini. 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 Mm. And like I always put twists on my recipes, that's so why I took their recipe and just put a little twist onto it. Uh -huh. But do go to the Russian restaurant. There's a very delicious menu that they have, mm -hmm. which is on West Broadway and Groom Street, Broom Street. So the Volba, the Volba is, is a Russian restaurant? It's a restaurant. It's a Russian restaurant. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, the company has right now currently uh, 18 restaurants, um, mostly yeah. 17 in Russia and the first one in New York. And you put your own special touch to I'll it? I'll put my own special touch to it. All right. Yeah. So, All right, so what do we have here today? Um, I have the stuffed pasta where you uh -huh. take, um, I'm sure they're going to put up the recipe. Uh -huh. And do you just take, take the, the pasta and fill it up. This one is with pork. You can fill it up with uh -huh. beef or you can fill it up with vegetables. Make sure if you take you do vegetables, you cook your vegetables first oh. and then you puree it. Yeah. But make sure you put the puree where it stays firm. Not so when you puree, you put it in a blender first? Yeah, you put it in a blender. Make sure the texture is more or less like your ground meat. Oh, okay? good, good, good. Um, and my ground meat that, that I put in that is the stuffing, um, I have cilantro, onions, and green peppers, mm -hmm. and fresh garlic with a little salt and black pepper in it. And you can smell it good. The garlic is kicking you. Yeah. Mm, I'm and salivating like crazy. It's the, 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 good, the unique thing about this um, fresh pasta is uh -huh. the dough is cooked first. You take a, a pot with boiling water, add salt, um, salt and um, butter. Uh -huh. Let the water boil good, and then you put in your flour, mix it, and it comes to a ball, uh, to a oh, ball firm yeah. dough. And there you go to a second process because you have to let that dough rest for eight uh -huh. hours, okay? After those eight hours, you can take that, have, add two eggs, and another about, I would say about 385 yeah. grams of flour oh, I'm gonna and check, mix it. I'm going to check this out. We have a recable cast about 5, 36 o'clock. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recable cast this and check it out. Yeah, that I mean, that, that's, that's the uniqueness about that, um, that fresh pasta because I'm normally just do... Um, regular uh, um, all-purpose flour, uh -huh. eggs, and oil, and that's it. Yeah. But once I learned that the Russian does it cook the dough first, it was a double thing, it's totally different to me. Oh, okay? there you go. So that's why I found it so unique, and I said, you know what, that's what I'm going to do. I decided to do some fresh One pasta, stuffed fresh pasta. Uh, do you do personal appearances? Yes, you I do. You go to people's homes? Yes, on definitely. Oh, okay. You contact me in my while. email, mm -hmm. and I would definitely will be glad to go teach you. So what are we doing now? Um, I have a pot of boiling water here. Uh -huh. So I'm just dropping in a couple of, uh, of you know, my stuffed pasta, which they will actually call this um, vaniniki. Okay, but now... In Russian, oh, vaniniki? Vaniniki, right. Now you could also, once you do it, it's a little soft right now, but... You also could turn it. Oh, and this is what they really? call pinini. But here in America or in Italian, they probably call it tonini. Oh, tortellini. Okay. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? All right. So. Pinini or tortellini? Right. And you just let it boil. In and English, you, water. you call it what? I would call it stuff pasta. <laughs> <laughs> and in Spanish? In Spanish. So, um, um, Pasta relleno. Or oh, oh, patele. No, penini. Uh, Poquito no. pateles or something. Well, you could say that, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and over here, um, they don't see the Russian. They don't uh -huh. put no tomato sauce. They only add butter oh, to okay. it. You yeah. just take it out of the water mm -hmm. and serve it with butter. But me, like I always put a twist you to it. You got your own special I make touch, my, Joe. I came in, oops. I came in, I did a, uh, a nice tomato uh -huh. sauce. Oh, yeah. This has um, onions, peppers, fresh garlic, mm -hmm. um, tomato sauce, and tomato paste to, to thicken it up a little bit. And at the same time, I also added some Worcestershire sauce mm -hmm. and some, uh, I forgot the other type of sauce. But there was two other sauces that I put in here, Worcestershire sauce, teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki yeah. sauce. Teriyaki uh, sauce. Is that a little bit Japanese with the uh, with, with, uh, exactly. Russian? Yeah. Exactly. So oh, Worcestershire, that's uh, Polish. Worcestershire? Worcestershire, uh, Polish or German probably. Worcestershire sauce. So, you know, I cook the sauce up and stuff it? like that. Sure. All right. Go right ahead. Yeah. I'm sure um, Taras Wuba would love you wearing this. All right. I got to come down and we got to bring the whole crew down there and get some food, you know? Yeah. There you go. So I'm going to take out the, 
the pasta now. Uh-huh. And what, what is this here? That are... um, that's for the salad. Okay. Um, I will explain that right now too. Okay, that's true. So I come take this and toss it. Oh, that smells good. On too. the plate. Nicely. And they swelled up a little bit. Yeah. Yes, it does. So they, they were small here. Yes. If you look, it swells up a little bit. Look. Mm hmm. So the next thing I do is I just come put some sauce over it. Sauce it up, sauce it up. That's it, you know. Have your sauce. Uh huh. And then over here, I got the salad, just your basic romaine lettuce, um, tomatoes, cucumber, mm -hmm. cat, mini carrots. And I always like to put some type of fruit inside my salad. So today I got um, Granny's apples, um, two kind of cheese, Monka Dre cheese, and, and um, Jack. Jack. And um, Monterey Jack cheese, it looks like. Both of them. Um, one is spicy, one is not as mild. Mm -hmm. And then also, I did not do it today because it takes a lot of work, uh -huh. but pomegranate. Put a, pull a couple of pomegranate on top of your salad because the sauce is hot. So right. if you eat pomegranate in the, uh, in the apple, it would lower down the intensity of the heat. Uh -huh. So you just pour some of the dressing on the, on the, on the salad, yeah. and that's what you have for your meal. We the, won't let this slide off the plate, believe me. Um, I will catch it like that if it begins to slide. And I also put a little twist on my dressing. I use olive oil, red wine vinegar, but at the same time, just to put a little, a little notch to it, mm -hmm. I'll put some raspberry jam into it, which gives it another nice little flavor, and little, little nice um, touch uh -huh. to your salad. There you go. Please enjoy and Can taste. Can I taste this? Of course. Enjoy and taste it. Should I taste the round one first? Whichever you choose. All right. Of course, you got to blow it off. Mama always said, <laughs> blow it off a little bit. Mm hmm. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Don't talk with your mouth open. It's not advised, but it's so good. <laughs> You've got to get the message across. Thank you. Chef Joe, give him a big round of applause, everybody. Thank you. Alejandrino. Alejandrino. <laughs> This is good. What's the address? Where can we um, go? The address um, for the Russian restaurant is 357 West Broadway, mm -hmm. down in um, Soho area, between oh. Grand Street and Broom Street. Oh, he's down there by WBLS. You know I'm going to be yes. sitting in the restaurant all the time. <laughs> can we bring yeah. the whole Bronx Net crew? Sure, why not? All right. Bring tell, them tell, down. Tell the owner we're coming by, okay? I would definitely let them know. All right. Chef Joe, give him another big round of applause, everybody. Thank you. This is so delicious, and we're going to give you an opportunity to check it, too. As a matter of fact, we're going to... I don't want to drip it all over the place, but you can have a bite of this in a little while. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today's show. I've still got some food over sitting on the right side or the left side of my mouth. But I'd like to uh, thank all of our guests for joining us and you, our viewers, for tuning in and checking it all out. If you missed any part of today's show, you can tune in to the Recablecast uh, of Open right here at 5 o'clock. We'll have all the recipes and all the people who came on the show. And make sure you tune in and get these recipes. Oh, beautiful. And again at 10 p.m. tonight, okay? Or you can watch anytime on the web, bronxnet.org. Now you can catch us on an all new episode Wednesday at 10 a.m. with Darren Jaime. He won't have these recipes though, I assure you, okay? I'll catch you on tonight, each and every night, right after the choir storm with Lenny Green and also out there with Steve Harvey Morning Show on WBLS. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee. And always remember this what you are is God's gift to you, and what you make of yourself is your gift to God. So choose your choice and let your choice control the chooser. From all of us here at BronxNet, have a great and enjoyable show. Helen, you did a fantastic job. Give Helen a big round of applause. Our brand new producer. Thank you, Helen. Mwah. Helen, come down and have some food. It's good. Ow. <laughs>